How do you do everyone? Welcome back. Uh, gonna do things a little bit different today. Today is Ash Wednesday and I will be doing a little bit something I consider quite hard for me, which I'm going to share my faith with you guys a little bit. Uh, I know it shouldn't be super hard or embarrassing or anything like that, but I find it difficult to uh, to convey to convey who I am as a spiritual person. Um, <clears throat> mostly because I think that's how society to, dictates that we we be, which it shouldn't be, of course. So, um, for Lenten season, which in case you didn't know what Lent is, Lent is uh, usually a sacrifice that you make, or you, you usually make a sacrifice, I should say, um, of like, a, a lot of people give up something, like kids give up candy and pop and stuff like that. Um, some people give up... Uh, certain activities or um there's there's all all different ways to make a sacrifice during lent um i wanted to do something a little bit different and because it is difficult for me to do uh, to to show uh, <laughs> my uh my religious uh side i will be for 40 days posting uh, prayers and uh, other activities related to my faith. <sighs> so um, I hope you come with me. I hope I'm in no way offending you. And I, I really hope not to have uh, a lot of nonsense in my comments section, which I don't have very many people that I'm actually have subscribing, but if you're new here, hit that subscribe button down below, would you? It sure would help me out. It sure let, lets me know that people are listening and watching. So for today, just to uh, kind of kick it off, I'm going to uh, recite a prayer that I found on crosswalk.com. Um, not sure about crosswalk. I haven't done any toodly doodling around, but I read through three or four different prayers. Uh, this one stuck out, seemed to speak really well to Ash Wednesday, uh, and the Lenten season. Um, so, uh, I hope you enjoy. And, uh, now's the time we remove our hats so we can start a prayer. My ashes have already worn off because it's a heck of a start here in Oregon to uh, to, the, to to Ash Wednesday and Lent. It was rather snowy and wet, and well, that means I wear bigger hats, longer hats, and that end up wiping on my forehead. So yes, I have gone to church, but my ashes are gone. So, all right, here we go. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Lord, Holy One, have mercy on us. We confess our sins to you. We have fallen short of your glory without your mercy and grace. We would be dust. We repent now, Lord, as we enter into this Lenten season. Be near to us. Help us by your Holy Spirit to feel right conviction and repentance for our sin. Help us by your Spirit to have the strength to overcome the enemy. Thank you, Lord, that Easter is coming. Death has no sting, no victory because of Jesus. Glory and honor, praise to his name. 
Thank you for rescuing us. Help us keep both the weight and the joy of the season in our hearts. And we move through the next several weeks. Help us bear the good fruit of your spirit. Amen. All right. Well, I seem to have done, uh, just stumbled the one time. Um, I'll leave it in because I'm imperfect. And I think that's a great way to show how imperfect I am during Lent is to not clean up my, uh, my prayer, I guess. Um, kind of leave it whole. Just as we move through Lent, through fasting and uh, repentance to bring us closer to God and make us whole again. Uh, that's all Lent is really about, is <clears throat> emptying yourself of all your vices, all your uh, distractions. Uh, everything from food to activities that you do uh, with or without your loved ones uh, that distract from uh, knowing God. And uh, yeah, that's truly what, what Lent is all about. So I think that this is going to be a good way to uh, to really go forth for me with Lent is to share uh, my faith because it is not easy it is hard um, simply because I am not used to being so public about my faith um, and I would like to change that um, I will still make content for those of you who are still with me and may not appreciate uh, talk about faith as much. And, and I, I will still cater to you, um, but I will mix in more of who I am and uh, my faith to go along with who I am because it is it's woven into me. Um, I'll see you tomorrow with maybe just a short prayer. Uh, and of course I will be just posting to YouTube shorts if that's the case. Um, see what trouble, kind of trouble I can get into tomorrow. God bless you. Bye. Ah, uh, what a strange and interesting start to Lent this year. Kind of reminds me of the down of a uh, goose or a uh, chicken's feathers. So why don't we go with a fun one, a uh, guardian angel prayer today. I'll just show you this instead of my face today. So the guardian angel prayer. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, Ever this day be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule and guide. Amen. And that is everything. See what kind of trouble I can get into tomorrow? Later. Okay, today's prayer is going to be the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi. Make me, O Lord, an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console to be understood as to understand, 
to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. And that is our prayer for the day. See what trouble I can get in tomorrow. Later. All right, today's prayer is a universal prayer for peace. Uh, Mother Teresa crafted this prayer and asked that we pray it every day at noon. Lead me from death to life. From falsehood to truth, lead me from despair to hope. From fear to trust, lead me from hate to love. From war to peace. Let peace fill my heart, my world, my universe. Amen. Mother Teresa of Calcutta. Thank you. See what kind of trouble we can get into tomorrow. Later. All right, time for a prayer of thanksgiving. Gracious and loving God, you command us to pray for what we need, but you also, but also to thank you for what we receive. Make us ever thankful for the gift of human life and for, your, for new life in Christ our Savior. Make us grateful for his personal choice of us, for the heavenly home he has destined for us, for the companionship of his blessed mother and all of the saints and angels, for his personal presence in our tabernacles, for our Christian friends and relatives to encourage us, and for his persistent call to holiness. Be Blessed be the name of Jesus now and forever. Amen. All right. I think that's a good one for today. All right, today's prayer is a pretty big one, uh, so I'll be reading it. It's only like the second time I've seen it, but it's a pretty good one for Lent. Um, it's entitled, Faith and Trust in Jesus. And uh, pardon me for not looking at the camera all the time while I read this one. Lord Jesus Christ, on the human side, you are sprung from David's line. Son of God, according to God's will and power, born of the Virgin Mary, baptized by John, and actually crucified for us in the flesh under Pontius Pilate and Herod the Tetrarch. On the third day, you raised a standard to rally your saints, faithful forever, in the one body of your church. By the grace and power of these mysteries, fit us out with unshakable faith. Nail us, body and soul, to your cross. And root us in, your lo in love by your blood shed for us. O Savior of the world, whose reign is a reign for all ages. Amen. Kind of a tongue twister there, but uh, it's definitely a declaration of uh, faith in uh, Jesus Christ. So, uh, very, very powerful prayer. Um, definitely need to remember this one for the future. Get a little bit better at it. Um, see what kind of trouble I can get in tomorrow. Stay faithful. Bye. Good morning, everyone. I haven't had my coffee yet, as you might be able to see. Here's a pretty good prayer that I found in today. It's uh, the hymn to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. I'm sure I'm going to butcher it, but here we go. All of you who seek a comfort sure in trouble and distress, whatever sorrow vex the mind or guilt the soul oppress, Jesus who gave himself for you upon the cross to die, 
opens to you his sacred heart. O oh, to that draw high, draw nigh. You hear how kindly he invites. You hear his words so blessed. All of you that labor come to me and I will give you rest. Christ Jesus, joy of saints on high, the hope of sinners here, attracted by those loving words, to you we lift our prayer. Edward Caswell crafted that. Now, back to the daily grind. Stay faithful. See what trouble I can get in tomorrow. Bye. All right, it's late and it's cold and I'm barely gonna get this prayer in for the day. So let's go. Evening prayer. Oh God, I thank you for the many blessings I have received today. Forgive me all my sins. I am sorry for them all because I have displeased you. Bless me while I sleep so that you, I may do better tomorrow. Bless my father, my mother, and all those I love, and make them happy. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, help me especially in our hour of my death. Amen. Good morning. Such a peaceful morning. I think we're going to go with uh, Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. All right, this morning's prayer is the Hail Holy Queen. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you we do cry. Poor banished children of Eve, to you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb. Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. All right, today's prayer is the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born to the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell the third day, rose again. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. From henceforth shall judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, and the communion of saints for the forgiveness of sins and the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Woo. A prayer from St. Francis of Assisi. Almighty, holy, high, and supreme God, highest good, greatest good, every good, you alone are good. We give you all praise, all glory, all thanksgiving, all honor, all blessing, and we assign all good things to you. Amen. Petition for St. Joseph's Blessing. Bless me, our dearly beloved Father. St. Joseph, bless my body, my soul. Bless my resolutions, my words, and deeds. All my actions and omissions, my every step, bless all that I possess. All my interior and exterior goods, that all may rebound to a greater honor of God. Bless me for time and eternity and preserve me from every sin. 
Obtain for me the grace to make atonement for all my sins by love and contrition here on earth, so that after my last breath I may, without delay, prostrate at thy feet and return thy thanks in heaven for all the love and goodness thou, O dearest Father, has shown me here below. Amen. All right. How do you do, everyone? I had to go get my eyes checked. My eyes are currently dilated, so I cannot see worth a darn, so I can't read worth a darn. So I'm going to try and give you one off the cuff. Um, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, bless everybody who is and is not watching this video. Um, may they find peace, love, and happiness in life. May everybody who is in a current war-stricken country find peace quickly. Anybody who has lost a loved one, may they find the peace in their heart that they need after having lost that person. Uh, and may I and others who are currently fasting during Lent have the power, the willpower, and the blessings to proceed with Lent as planned, as intended, to honor you. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, it's as good as I can get. Love y'all. Peace be with you. Well, I got a popular one for you. Today's prayer is St. Michael's Prayer. St. Michael the Archangel. Defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of Heavenly Host, by power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world to ruin the souls of men. Amen. This prayer is for all those homemakers and people who in general who just need a little relief sometimes. It's the calm mind prayer. Almighty and all-powerful Father, help me feel calm when I become angry. When pressure and conflict make me feel surrounded, remind me that I am surrounded by your presence. When you are with me, I have no need to lash out in anger. Please remove my anger towards other people and place it with you within your provision and care. May confidence in your love replace any anger about my circumstances. When I feel angry due to unmet un expectations, remind me that satisfaction can be found only in you. May the love of the Father and the grace of the Son, and the power of the Holy Spirit be with me today. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hope this finds you well. Grace before meal. Bless us, our Lord, and these your gifts, which we are about to receive from your bounty, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hey, and when you're done eating, grace after your meal. We thank you, O Lord, for these gifts and for all the gifts we have received. From your goodness, through Christ our Lord, amen. All right. See you next time. Today's prayer is a long one. Um, we're going to pray for some of the lost people. Um, let's dive right into it. I'm going to leave my hat on today because it's awfully cold and I'm awfully bald. So, let's do this. Father, in your mercy, you promise to seek the lost. Bring back the strayed, bind up the injured, and strengthen those who are weak. Therefore, we pray with boldness for our sons, daughters, grandsons, granddaughters, who have strayed from their faith in Jesus. Let them rend their hearts and not their 
garments. Let them return to the Lord their God, for he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love. For there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who need no repentance. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you. God bless. Today we'll send out a prayer to St. Titus, Bishop and Confessor. O God, you endowed your holy bishop, Titus, with the glory of apolistic virtues. Grant that through his merits and prayers we may live upright, godly lives in this world. Come to our heavenly home through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God, forever and ever. Amen. A prayer from St. Patrick. My prayers, my actions, my intentions, my results are imperfect in the sight of God and my fellows. Yet I now pray that I may embrace my own deep and abiding imperfection, my defects and shortcomings, my very sins, for I am what you created, just as you created me, and I know that you, Father, love me without condition or expectation as I am. If you can love me with all my faults, why can I not love myself? You are perfect in your being. I am not. Our Father, hear my prayer. Amen. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Here's a Irish blessing from St. Pat himself. May your days be many, your troubles be few, May God's blessings descend upon you. May peace be with you. May your heart be strong. May you find what you're seeking wherever you roam. May strength of God pilot us. May the wisdom of God instruct us. May the hand of God protect us. May the word of God direct us. May thy salvation, O Lord, be always ours this day and forevermore. Amen. Written by St. Pat. Good morning. Today's prayer is the Anima Christi. <clears throat> Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O God, Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from thee. From the wicked, defend me. At the hour of death, call me. And bid me come to thee. That with all the saints I may praise thee. Forever and ever. Amen. A prayer to St. Jude for sick children. St. Jude, the glorious apostle, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the patron of hopeless cases, things despaired of. Pray for our children who are so sick and miserable. Make us, we implore you, of this particular privilege accorded to you, to bring visible and speedy help where your help is most despaired of. Come to our assistance in this great time of need, that I may receive the consolations of and successor of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and suffering, particularly to help our child get better from this illness and to give him good health and to guide his path. And we may bless God with you and all the elect forever. I promise you, O blessed St. Jude, to be ever mindful of this great favor and I will never cease to honor you as my special and powerful patron and to do all in my power to encourage devotion to you. Amen. Today's prayer is a prayer for focus and strength. Lord, help me to see my child and our lives through your eyes. 
I often focus on my circumstances of sickness instead of focusing on you. When I look at what I can do and what I don't have, I get discouraged and overwhelmed. I want to run and hide. Please come to me like you came to Gideon and set my eye on your plan and your provision for today. You are the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Amen. Today's prayer is a prayer to St. Thomas Aquinas. It's intended to be a prayer before study, but I'm going to use it as a prayer for knowledge and wisdom. All right. Creator of all things, true source of light and wisdom, lofty origin of all being, graciously let a ray of your brilliance penetrate into the darkness of my understanding and take from me the double darkness in which I have been born, an obscurity of both sin and ignorance. Give me a sharp sense of understanding, a retentive memory, and the ability to grasp things correctly and fundamentally. Grant me that talent of being exact in my explanations, and the ability to express myself with th thoroughness and ch a charm. Point out the beginning direct the progress, and help in completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Thomas Aquinas. Today's prayer will be a prayer to St. Helen, uh, just asking for a better understanding of devotion to God. Holy and blessed St. Helen, with the anguish and devotion with which you sought the cross of Christ, I plead that you give me God's grace to suffer in patience and the and labors of this life, so that though them and though your intercession and protection, I will be able to seek and carry the cross, which God has placed upon me so that I can serve him in this life and enjoy his glory ever after. Amen. See you later. Today's prayer will be from Rescued by Father John Ricardo. God, I believe that out of your infinite love, you created me. I'm sorry for all the times that I have believed the enemy's lies, that you are not a good father and that you don't love me. Please forgive me for all my sins. Thank you for sending Jesus, the ambush predator, to rescue me from sin, death, Hell and Satan, I choose this day to place your son, Jesus, at the center of my life. And so today, here and now, I surrender to you, Jesus, and desire your lordship over every area of my life. I ask you now to flood my soul with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Help me to know my true identity as a beloved son. Help me to know that I matter and that I am worth dying for. Recreate me to the person that y you destined me to be. Please use me as an instrument in your merciful hands to rescue others and to help recreate this world that you so love. Amen. Today's prayer will be a prayer to St. Anthony. Blessed be God in his angels and his, in his saints. O oh, holy St. Anthony, gentlest of saints. Your love for God and charity for his creatures made you worthy when on earth to possess miraculous powers. Encouraged by his thought, I implore you to obtain for me help for all those who are lost online and need way back. O oh, gentle and loving Saint Anthony, whose heart was never full, was ever full of human sympathy, whisper my petition into the ears of the sweet Jesus, infant Jesus, who loved to be folded in your arms. And the gratitude of my heart will be forever yours. Amen. Today's prayer was given to us by Pope Francis. Lord God of peace, hear our prayer. We have tried so many times and over so many years to resolve our conflicts by our own powers and by force of our arms. 
How many moments of hostility darkness have we experienced? How much blood has been shed? How many lives have been shattered? How many hopes have been buried? But our efforts have been in vain. Now, Lord, come to our aid. Grant us peace. Teach us peace. Guide our steps in the way of peace. Open our eyes and our hearts and give us the courage to say never again war. With war, everything is lost. Instill in our hearts the courage to take concrete steps to achieve peace. Lord, God of Abraham, God of the prophets, God of love, you created us and you call us to live as brothers and sisters. Give us the strength daily to be instruments of peace. Enable us to see everyone who crosses our path as our brother or sister. Make us sensitive to the plea of our citizens who entreat, entreat us with our weapons of war into implements of peace, our trepidation into confident trust, and our quarreling into forgiveness. Keep alive within us the flame of hope so that with patience, perseverance, we may opt for dialogue and reconciliation. In this way, may peace triumph at last. And may the words division, hatred, and war be banished from the heart of every man or woman. Lord, diffuse the violence of our tongues and our hands. Renew our hearts and minds so that the world which always brings us together will be brother and our ways of life will always be that of shalom, peace, and salam. Amen. Coming in just under the wire on this one, so we're going to make it quick. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. See you tomorrow. Prayer to get you in the right frame of mind when reciting the rosary. Queen of the Holy Rosary, you have deigned to come to Fatima to reveal the three shepherd children, the treasures of grace hidden within the rosary. Inspire my heart with sincere love of this devotion, in order that I, that by meditating on the mysteries of our redemption, which are recalled in it, I may be enriched with its fruits and obtain peace for the world, the conversation of sinners and of Russia. And the favor which I ask of you in this rosary is that I may grow more in God's love. I ask it for the greater glory of God, for your own honor, and for the good soul of souls, especially for my own. Amen. Prayer in full faith. Give me, Lord God, a full faith and fervent charity. A love of you, good Lord, incomparable above the love of myself, and that I love nothing to your displeasure, but everything in an order to you. Take from me, good Lord, this lukewarm fashion or rather this cold manner of meditation and this dullness in praying to you and give me warmth, delight, and life in thinking about you. And give me your grace to long for your holy sacraments and especially to rejoice in the presence of your blessed body. Sweet Savior in the holy sacrament of the altar and the duly duly to thank you for your gracious coming this prayer was by thomas saint thomas more a prayer before christ crucified sweet christ the more we behold you the more perfectly and purely do we love you and for love become one with you and as we become one with you by love so we share in your sufferings, O man of sorrows, and through grief become more united with you. 
By this we come to the knowledge of God and ourselves, and are sincerely transformed into the love of the Son of God. Amen. Saint Angela of Falonga. Prayer to Jesus Crucified Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God, set your passion, your cross, your death between your judgment and our souls now at the hour of our death. In your great goodness, grant mercy and grace to the living and forgiveness and rest to the dead. To the church and to the nations, peace and concord. And to us sinners, life and glory without end. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O oh God, you instructed the hearts of those who believed in you by the light of the Holy Spirit. Grant us in the same spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his con consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. To our sorrowful mother, this child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and the sword will pierce your own soul too. A Roman soldier opened Jesus' side with his spear and pierced the heart of his mother. Let us pray to Our Lady of Sorrows. Mary, Mother of Sorrows, you experienced poverty, the rejection, and the misunderstanding that was Jesus' fate. As he hung on the cross and stood, at, you stood at his side and watched him writhe in pain, and knew the desolation that wrung his soul. By his precious blood and your tears, stand at our side as we feel the pressures and pains that weigh on our lives in this world. Be with us in the trials and tribulations and, our, and hear our special prayers for assistance. Mother, Holy Mother of God, be our mother too, today and forever. Amen. All right, we got a long one and a good one. It's a Lenten prayer called the Passion. Dear Lord Jesus, by your passion and resurrection, you brought life to the world, but the glory of the resurrection came only after suffering the passion. You laid down your life willingly and gave up everything for us. Your body was broken and fastened to a cross. Your clothing became the prize of soldiers. Your blood ebbed slowly away. But, and your mother was entrusted to the beloved disciple, stretched out on the cross, deprived of all earthly possessions and human aid. You cried out to your father that the end had come. You had accomplished the work given to you, and you committed into his hands as a perfect gift. The little life that remained to you. The Lord, Lord teach me to accept all afflictions after the example you have given. Let me place my death in yours and my weakness in your abandonment. Take hold of me with your love, that same foolish love that knew no limits. And let me offer myself to the Father with you so that I may rise with your eternal life. Amen. Today's prayer is Hail, Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hail, Heart of my Jesus, save me. Hail, Heart of my Creator, perfect me. Hail, Heart of my Savior, deliver me. Hail, Heart of my Judge, pardon me. Hail, Heart of my Father, govern me. Hail, Heart of my Master, teach me. Hail, Heart of my King, crown me. Hail, Heart of my Benefactor, enrich me. Hail, Heart of my Pastor, guard me. Hail, Heart of my Brother, stay with me. Hail, Heart of my Incomparable Goodness, have mercy on me. Hail, heart, most loving heart, inflame me. Amen. By St. Margaret Mary 
Alakwa. Welcome to Holy Thursday. Today's prayer is prayer before the Blessed Sacrament. O Jesus, present in the sacrament of the altar, teach all nations to serve with you with a willing heart, knowing that to serve God is to reign. May your sacrament, O Jesus, be the light of the mind, strength of the will, joy of the heart. May it be the support of the weak, the comfort of the suffering, the wayfaring bread of salvation for the dying, and for all the pledge of the future glory. Amen. Blessed Pope John the Tenth. Welcome to Good Friday, everybody. Today's prayer uh, isn't titled, but it's very much uh, great prayer for today. Lord Jesus Christ, suffering servant of God, surrounded by scoffers and scorners and nailed with spikes to a bloody cross, give us faith and hope in your pains and in your complete trust in your Father. Even when you laid in the dust of death, your reign, O Savior of the world, is a reign for all ages. Amen. O cross of Christ, immortal tree, on which our Savior died, the world is sheltered by your arms that bore the crucified. From the bitter death and barren wood, the tree of life is made. Its branches bear unfailing fruit, and leaves never fade. O faithful cross, you stand unmoved while ages run their course. Foundation of the universe, creation's binding force. Give glory to the risen Christ, and to the cross give praise. The sign of God's unfathomed love, the hope of all our days. At Easter, flowers are blooming, the sunshine is bright, church bells are ringing at first light. Thank you, Lord, for the love you bring at Easter time and for everything. Happy Easter, everybody. Happy, happy end of Lent. Holy Father of glory, now to the Father who created each creature, now to the Son who paid the ransom for his people, now to the Holy Spirit, comforter of might, shield and heal us from every wound. Be about the beginning and the end of our race. Be giving to us to sing in glory. In peace, in rest, in reconciliation, where no tear shall be shed, where death comes no more. Where no tear shall be shed, where death comes no more. Alexander Carmichael, thanks for coming with me on my journey through life. See you next time.